all right, I'm a gun guy. You know, no, us, us gun guys, we say, I'm just gonna create distance and shoot. Yeah. If that's not possible, that's why you want a secondary option like a self-defense knife. But you carry strong side because you're normally just carrying knives, not yeah. a gun, right? Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm not gonna say I'm ambidextrous, but I, I, I do a lot of weak side training, so yeah. it's there for me if I need it. Yeah. You know what I'm but saying? But for a gun guy, who, if he's carrying kind of traditional strong side, yeah. probably, if you if someone said, well, what should I do? I, I, I know I, there's I, a preference thing, but what would you? If suggest? you don't want to make the if you don't want to make the tradition or the transition over to weak side, and you say, well, I don't have enough training, Rob. Are there some other options? Mm -hmm. Okay. What, the problem with in your case with other options is is if you're in a situation like we just were, retention. I've got to retain this weapon. Right. You cannot take your hand off the weapon. No, you have to keep. So it So you're in there. kind yeah. of you're stuck. You've painted yourself into a corner now. So is it a matter of? I mean, yeah, I'll get some training, right? But yeah. also just start working with, okay, then I'm just gonna carry a knife on the weak side and just start yeah. working on it, it, deploying that really, it. That really is it. That really is and it. And, uh, you're gonna get comfortable yes, with it. Yes, yes. That's why I like fixed blades on weak side. Yeah, you don't have to There's you don't have no to dexterity. Do all There's that no, and people will say in auto, okay, auto's a, auto's a nice option if it's legal in your state. Yeah. If it's legal in your state, uh, if the if the automatic, if or not the automatic or the uh, switchblade act doesn't affect you, then okay, then fine, you can get away with that. Uh, another option to but that. Fixed blade. Oh, that's a question. Sure. So so the gun laws are weird, state to state, municipality, but yeah. but also knife laws are weird. Yes, they are. Are fixed blades generally accepted more places? Yes, you'll find in most cases they'll have a length limit okay. on the blade, and they'll have uh, either a restriction on your blade type. In other words, in most cases, most double-sided daggers are not cool. They don't like those. They don't like those. They don't those like those. Bad, evil it's stuff. Ba yeah, it's bad. You know, it's <laughs> bad. people aren't bad, knives are bad. Right, you know? of course. It's, exactly, so uh, what I would recommend in those cases, you can still work within the confines of the laws of your state. You yeah. know, find a blade that works for you, take the time. Yeah. When you go to your gun or your knife shop, sit down. And, and literally handle as many as you can that's legal for you. Sure. And get something that you're comfortable with and use it. And that's the great part about a fixed blade. Her bags are packed. Yeah. She's ready to go, man. All you gotta do is put her in your hand. Well, I mean, you think about it. A lot of gun guys say, I don't like to carry a gun with a thumb safety, or I like to carry a revolver because there's yep. less thinking. Yep. You just pull the trigger and go. Yep. Same like a, like a fixed blade knife. Same, same exact thing. Yeah. Same thing. And, and, that's, and, that's, and that's up to the person. They've yeah. really got to look at their person, their personal, the way they're trained, what they do, what the what their laws are, yeah. what's legal over there, and find out what's comfortable. But actually, you know, two is one, one is none. If yeah. you are not carrying a knife on your person as either a tertiary or a secondary, you're really doing yourself a disadvantage. For gun guys who are carrying a knife, and they go, well, I could use a knife in self-defense, but they haven't had any training. That's dangerous. They're carrying a folder that's on, you know, the same side as their gun. Yeah. There's a lot of things that maybe they haven't thought through? Yeah, specifically in the case of where you're, you know, you're carrying all your stuff strong side. What if, think about it, well, if I've got range, I'm just gonna shoot them. Okay, well, if the distance closes and they're on you, you have to be able to retain your weapon. Yeah. And you've put your secondary on the same side as your strong side. How are you gonna get that when you're trying to retain your weapon? You're, you're gonna have to have two hands. Yeah, you or a third hand. Or a third hand. To keep that person <laughs> off of you, so right. therefore you'll be working you in a circus somewhere. Two hands and you're just getting punched in the face. Yeah, right? exactly, <laughs> exactly. So it's really not as, I mean, I'd like to produce it or push it out there as a cut and dry question, but it's really not. And it's kind of out in the weeds in some cases. So for a gun guy, who says, all right, I'm gonna start carrying a knife for self-defense. Not my little folder on the strong side, but let me get a fixed blade in a sheath, try to do it the right way. All right, now how do we deploy it? You know, we, gun guys, we, we practice drawing a gun. Mm -hmm. How do you draw a knife? Well, let's do this. Steps? Let's go ahead and, and play it from the angle of the gun guy. Yeah. So if you were to give me the three quick steps yeah. on deploying your pistol, walk me through them really quick. I mean, basically, this, I'm carrying it strong side. I gotta clear the garment. Right on and I gotta draw it, and then, you know, present out. And you present know, out and get we fired. Well, guess what, guys? It's no different. Yeah. It's exactly the same. I've gotta clear the garment, grab my weapon, and put it in whatever striking position that I'm gonna put it in. And that works also if you're carrying it weak side, I guess, right? Absolutely. Same deal? Absolutely. You, just, I, you I have would, to reverse it. And, but you have to develop your own personal dexterity with working with your weak side hand. Yeah. You know, and, th and that is the part where people immediately will stop and they'll push off and they'll say, you lost me. Yeah. Immediately. And I say, no, I mean, it's, it's like anything else. You didn't know how to shoot that gun right when you popped out. Yeah. 
you, well, you got to work on it. It's just like anything well, else. Look, and I think people who watch our stuff enough know I'm right-handed. I'm, I'm very right-handed. I'm also very left-eye dominant. So I shoot long guns left-handed wow. because when I was a kid, my dad said, oh, you're left-eye dominant, you're gonna shoot it this way. Right on. It, it feels totally normal to me, and then I draw my handgun with my right hand. Right on. And it's right just on. totally normal. It's only because I've been doing that way for decades. Yeah, yeah, and it's, and it's you being cognitive on understanding, A, what your strengths and what your weaknesses are, and right. playing on that. In other words, guess what? You gotta have a plan. 